Hello and welcome to a new Scale 500 news video here on the channel. We have uh, accumulated a few small news here and there over the last few weeks and I wanted to put them together in one video so I can give them to you right here, right now. And the first news is of course coming from A4 Airports. You might know them from some of my posts on Instagram but also of course of their many great products. We've already shown some of them here on the channel and I do hope that I can show you more in the future. But they are starting to release uh, new products again here in 2020. Some uh, products that they are catching up on, which they wanted to release last year, but they had some delays with, and there's new stuff coming as well. The latest uh, product that I want to show you is the low-cost terminal. They have now released this both in scale 200, 400, and 500. And honestly speaking, I think it looks quite nice. It looks very promising in my opinion. Furthermore, they have released a new special set which comes in three different versions. All of them are limited to 24 sets. The first one is of a small airport. The second one of a small airport with part of a runway. And the third one is then the basically largest version of this, which is then adding another terminal building and extends the runway to basically include a turning point at the end of the runway. I should hopefully very soon have a review of one of the new A4 airport sets here on the channel, but I will of course also try to get a closer look at some of the many new sets coming from A4 airport at the moment during the Amsterdam Aviation Collectors Fair, which I will be attending and that is the next news. Because, as I said, I will be attending the Amsterdam Model Collectors Fair, which is happening on the 18th of February. If you are around and you see me, come say hello. Um, I always like to interact with you guys. And I hope, of course, that I can meet many other really cool and interesting people there so that I can bring you some uh, lovely Scale 500 News content as well after the exhibition itself. Right, following last week's release announcements of Harper Wings, we have a few follow-up information that I'd like to share with you. Because last week Harper announced and now during the weekend Harper has had a stand during the Nuremberg Toy Fair and there they have released a new Condor aircraft model. It is the A330-900neo in this weirdish yellow golden color. It's, it's difficult to really determine. And clearly HAPA has also had some difficulties determining what that color really is. Um, they showed the model uh, in their release announcement video, but they also showed it during the toy fair. We are luckily have a few recordings from the toy fair, but we also can get a glimpse of some other models. They also had like a 707 from Equatoriana, uh, also a special toy fair release. And then they showed some new molds and they showed a, a few other sample models. For example, also a scale 200 version of the 777X with the uh, wingtips uh, well tilted upwards. But another crucial bit of information that was told by Harper Wings product manager was the fact that they are determined to go through the entire Condor fleet. Now they already talked about that last year and honestly speaking I thought well I mean if they really wanted to do that they should have started with the 757-300 because they will soon leave the Condor fleet and given that they hadn't released it yet I thought well I mean they will then most likely skip them but in their recent release and announcement video, they actually mentioned the 757 specifically and that they will refurbish the 757-300 molds and thereby uh, well, paving the way for new 757-300 releases. Condor was specifically mentioned, but it will not be the only airline featured on that aircraft type in the future. And then we have a little bit more information coming exclusively from the toy fair. I had one of my spies there who luckily fed me some of this information. Um, uh, and specifically, it's about some Turkish Airlines models. So the A321 of Turkish Airlines with the biofuel special livery is confirmed. Uh, the model is already in production. Release date is not yet known, but this model will be coming. And since it is already in production, it is very likely to be this year, so 2024. And then um, the Harper product manager also mentioned a 777 of Turkish Airlines with the UEFA Champions League livery. 
I did catch that aircraft when I was doing some spotting in last year. And the story here is basically that Harper is very keen on creating this aircraft model in scale 500. Turkish Airlines apparently is also very keen on it. So the only one holding back here is the UEFA, who of course has the license to the Champions League and would need to give their green light. And this is apparently where, um, well, there is some trouble at the moment. So if this model can be realized or not, will at the moment, as it looks like, be up to the UEFA. So we will see in the future if Harper and Turkish Airlines can get a breakthrough with the UEFA. Then we have a little funny story coming from Harper. Harper tends to make mistakes in their products every now and then, some bigger than others. Here we have one more in the category of, well, that's kind of funny. I actually didn't catch up on it, even though I reviewed the model myself. I'm of course talking about the Coppa Airlines 737 MAX 9. One of you guys actually spotted it and let me know in the comment section below, which I was very grateful for because I had completely missed this. And I don't understand how I could miss it, but honestly speaking, I also don't quite understand how Harper could miss it. The mistake was luckily not on the model itself, but it was on the box. And quite a big one, to be honest. On the back side of the box, something I don't pay much attention to because I don't like the box design of Harper. But I mean, we clearly have a Boeing aircraft. So why Harper added the Airbus branding? Well, nobody really knows, but I thought this was actually a quite funny mistake and I'd much rather have mistakes on the boxes than on the models. But speaking about mistakes, JC Wings has recently, well, at least they've tried to release the 747-400 with a special Star Wars delivery of Virgin Atlantic. And I was quite excited about the possibility of getting more scale 500 uh, models from JC Wings again. Although I have never really been convinced about the 747 being the right model. But when we got the announcement, the first thing of course that, well, caught the curiosity of people was, will the model have physical antennas? And we could reveal in a previous news video that yes, the JC Wings 747-400 will have physical antennas. But where is the model? It doesn't quite seem to be appearing anywhere. And there's a very big reason for that, which unfortunately isn't very good because the model unfortunately suffers from massive quality issues. It is so bad that retailers were unable to sell the model and had to send them back to JC Wings. It seems to be an issue with the print, I guess. There are quite a few bubbles, especially on the wings. But one thing it has also revealed, which I didn't really pay attention to when we first saw images of this model is, this is an extremely old 747 mold. Now, during the last Amsterdam Model Collectors Fair, I was able to do an interview with the founder of Starjets. And during that interview, he revealed that the old Starjets mold were actually sold to JC Wings but we never really saw them release any models with these molds. Now, when I look closely at the images of the new JC Wings 747, I have my suspicion that they have been using the by now very old 747 mold. They have clearly modified it a bit since they have added physical antennas, but it's clearly not enough. And when we know that JC Wings scale 500 models aren't cheap, I don't think they have done themselves a favor here using such an old mold for this model. In fact, I don't think they have done themselves a favor at all with this aircraft model because I think it is the wrong model to join into the scale 500 market. Now, if you are excited for this model, I don't want to take anything away from you. Every model has its customers, but I think this model is too niche to really have a great impact in the scale 500 market. And my hope is really that JC Wings, when they do join the scale 500 market, sell well so they can see that there is potential in it. But if they release models like that, and especially then with a really old mold and huge quality issues, well, it's not great, is it? But what do you think about the whole issue with the JC Wing 747? Have you perhaps even received one already? Let me know in the comment section below. Will you be at the AMS? Then let me know. I hope to meet you there. And of course, what do you say about the funny Harper Wings mistake on their Copper Airlines box? All that, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more content like this, well then don't forget to leave a like because it really does help out the channel. And if you are new around here, you're always welcome to hit subscribe. With that, thanks so much for having watched this video. See you soon, I'm checking out and bye.